Long awaited repairs and expansion here at the South Bay Wastewater Treatment Plant are now being fast tracked from a timeline of two years to just 100 days. The EPA says this will bring some much needed relief to South Bay residents, but city leaders say there's still a lot to do. The EPA and the U.S. International Boundary and Water Commission are stepping in and speeding things up. Last month, EPA Administrator Lee Zeldin visited San Diego and met with local leaders. He, he saw it, he smelt it, he lived it, and that was incredibly important. Imperial Beach Mayor Paloma Aguirre, who is also running for county supervisor, has long advocated for solutions. I'm feeling very positive that now he's putting attention to this. We need a lot more attention a lot more support because we're not there yet. Now, after years of on and off operations, the plant will be expanded to treat 35 million gallons of cross-border wastewater a day, up from 25 million, with more upgrades still to come. We want everybody in the South County to have a high quality of life, and when you have that sewage issue, uh, it affects everybody. Chula Vista Mayor John McCann, Aguirre's opponent in the upcoming July special election, also welcomed federal support. We're excited to be able to see that there's actually action now being taken, uh, and we need to work regionally to be able to take care of this crisis. But both mayors say more work needs to be done. McCann says it's time to hold politicians in Mexico accountable. Mexico is dumping 100 plus million gallons of raw sewage into the United States, and we need to be able to find ways to stop that. Meanwhile, Aguirre is pushing a five-point plan to protect public health, including air filtration for schools, a public health study, and a dedicated county sewage crisis chief. She says most importantly, the Tijuana River needs to be treated before residents will see any true changes. Is it a step in the right direction? Yes. But until we get the river diverted and treated and a state of emergency declared for that, we won't really start to see the impacts or the benefits of that. Alex Lai, CBS 8.